In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the circumference diameter ratio. Our objectives understand the ratio of circumference to diameter. Our goal for this video is just to set up what you need to bring tomorrow. Vocabulary that's going to be important that you might want to look up if you don't already know these circumference, diameter, and understanding what a ratio is. Alright, there isn't much to this video. The main thing is you need to bring something to class. One object per person, which should give us enough, um, enough objects that we can uh, figure this relationship out pretty easily. So what we want is a circular object. Some examples could be a pop can or drink bottle. Here, I have a Gatorade. If you notice, the bottom is circular. So we can use this circle as a real life circle that will help us uh, compare this ratio. A soup can. This isn't a soup can, but it's the shape of what a very large soup can would be. Notice it's a cylinder. So again, circular base that we could use. A circular jar. So I've got a jar here. We've got a circle on one end and a smaller circle on the other so we could actually get two circles out of this. Um, a bowl would be an example. This isn't an actual bowl but it's the shape of a bowl and the rim would technically be a circle. So what we need is for every person to bring one of these circular objects. All right, and w if everyone has one object, we will have a good amount of data that we can average everybody's um, data together to really look at exactly what this ratio is and make it as accurate as possible. All right, tomorrow I plan on seeing everyone with a circular object so we can dive into this ratio. Thank you.